Hey guys, now we're gonna read A Commotion in the Ocean. Commotion in the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins and whales and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There are turtles and a big white polar bear. Polar bear in the ocean? But can you see behind the wreck and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. Crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Remember when crab walks sideways? Crab walks sideways. Turtles. Miss Kristen's favorite. We crawl up to the beach from the water to bury our eggs on the dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then they hatch, they scamper across the sand. Squeak, squeak, click, click. Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures just as gorgeous and lovely as me. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just love to jiggle with other fish. The other fish think it's quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling is lots of fun. Ooh, shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. I don't think that's a good idea. Swordfish. See his long nose? It looks like a sword. I love to chase after small fish and keep them from getting keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a full a few on my sword. That means he catches them with his sword nose, pokes them. Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a little bit funny but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Stingray. Bzz. Stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, but don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. Why do you think that's a good idea not to shake hands with a lobster? What do you think? Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, we would snap your fingers in two. Woo! Their pinchers are sharp. In the deep sea. What, look at the water in the deep sea. Look how dark it is. Look at the water in the regular sea when it's not too deep. In the way, way, way deep, 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 deep part, it's dark. The deep sea, miles below the surface where the waters dark and deep live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions of every shape and size. None have giant pointy teeth. Some have giant pointy teeth and some have big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Eee. They're scary. A blue whale. Look how big. Remember when Jonah got swallowed up by the whale in the Bible story? Remember? Blue whale. There's nothing other, there's no other, sorry, there's no other beast on the planet as big as a giant blue whale. He measures a mass of 100 feet long from his head to the top of his tail. That's really big. A barnacle. Do you know what a barnacle is? You Sometimes you see them on the docks, on the sticking to the bottom of the docks. Um, we're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is clean. We know it's not that glamorous, but it's our favorite thing. They just catch on to somebody and they just hang on. They'll, they'll catch on to fish and turtles and all kinds of things they can. They just hang on, they just hang out. A walrus. 
Our bodies are covered with blubber and our chests are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show them we're mighty and strong. Urgh. Look at these long tusks. Penguins, we talked about penguins. Penguins, we waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Look, they're sliding down, splash, splash. they need a pool. They need a slide into a, a pool. Polar bears, remember we talked about polar bears and how we have to be careful with wasting paper? Polar bears, drop out of the Arctic. The mommy polar bear snuggles up with all of her children since they are very cold out there. Remember the polar bears live on the icebergs? With a, lot of, with a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea, what a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we made along the way? See if you can and tell me who they are. Do you remember? We saw... Oh, dolphins. We saw crabs and turtles. Can you think of anything else? Oh, the angelfish. Remember, she was lovely. The jellyfish likes to wiggle. The shark with his big teeth. The swordfish. The octopus. She likes to tickle her babies. The stingray and the lobster. And then in the deep sea, they had the scary looking fish, huh? They were bright, bright colors. Do you think they're bright, bright colors so you can see them in the dark, dark, dark water? The big blue whale. Walruses. Penguins and polar bears. Which animal is your favorite out of the whole story? You know, Miss Chris likes the turtles. Okay. I'm glad I got to read you guys. I'll see you later.